The Bottle Rock Music Festival is this weekend in Napa Valley. The three-day event brings in tens of thousands of people, raising some concerns now for locals about COVID case rates. Our Crown Forest Taylor Visaki joins us now live from Napa Valley, the expo where the music festival kicks off uh, this weekend. Taylor, what are you hearing? Well, Vicki, you can see the check-in tents are already up. Preparation and setup is underway, and it all starts on Friday. The last time that they held this event back in 2019, more than 120,000 people flooded this area over those three days. However, of course, this year may look a little different. Bottle Rock will rumble Napa Valley this weekend as performers take the stage starting Friday. With a three-day music festival and thousands of people coming to town, some have their concerns. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crowded. As far as COVID goes, I am a little bit concerned just because we're going to be like so close together. I'm worried about our numbers spiking. I'm worried about a shutdown. Upon entry, Bottle Rock is requiring all guests to provide proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test taken within the last seven two hours of each day of the festival. Local Shannon Anthony says the proof of vaccination still doesn't ease her mind, especially with the highly contagious Delta variant. I've kind of thought this whole time, oh, because I'm vaccinated, I'm okay, and I, I'm not going to hurt kids or someone who can't get vaccinated or I can't give it to them, but I could be carrying it. And that's frightening. And everyone who comes to my shop could be carrying it. Some infectious disease experts have concerns of their own. You're stuck in a crowd with people all around you particularly yelling and screaming like at a concert or a football game, I think that is a risky situation for you, and I would try and avoid it right now. However, Napa County's public health officer isn't as worried. In a statement to Cron 4 News on Monday, she says, quote, Bottle Rock is requiring proof of vaccination of all attendees and staff or a negative COVID test 72 hours prior to attendance. Indoor mask use is mandatory and they are highly recommending outdoor mask use. These measures were successful at markedly decreasing transmission during the Lollapalooza Music Festival in Chicago. Of more than 385,000 attendees, less than 0.05% had COVID. Despite these numbers, some have decided it's not worth the risk. My one friend who just called me to sell her tickets, her general admission tickets, she doesn't want to come because she's afraid of the, of the variant and catching it, even though she's vaccinated. So lots of tickets for sale right now. Bottle Rock will also provide a pop-up testing site on Thursday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. You'll have to sign up by Wednesday, and it will also cost you. Now, if you plan to come to the event, still bring your mask. Not only are they recommended outdoors, but they are required in all the indoor spaces. For now, we're live in Napa Valley. I'm Taylor Basaki reporting Cron 4 News.